So sometimes I lay down in bed or take a walk and have some questions popping up in my head. Can you do actually something like this in Bitwig? And most of the times it turns out, yes, you can. And this is one of these videos and it's a bit complicated to explain. I try my best. Um, it's probably not the best practical example for this, but it's maybe nice to know that you actually can do it and you probably find ways to utilize this. So let me let, let me show you how what I mean here. Um, so inside of Bitwig, we can use a polygrid, right? And inside of this polygrid, which is, by the way, monophonic and has no voice tagging enabled, we can just create a nice sine oscillator patch by just using, yeah, let's say, a sine oscillator and ADSR and one audio output. So this is pretty simple and straightforward. So we can play this on the keyboard here. Okay, so we can also um, take the output of this, right? And can feed it back into the same oscillator. We get something like this. So we get some nice overtones. So my question was, can we actually utilize voice stacking? For this can we just say i want to have two voice tags but now i want to use voice tag 2 the audio of voice tag 2 and modulate the sign oscillator on voice tag 1 is this actually possible and the answer is yes you can you can do this i'll show you how it works so we use here a toggle a voice toggle with just it just mutes or disables certain voices. We disable here all these voices and we only output here voice one. So we only want to hear voice one. Um, we use a second toggle and here we toggle on the second voice. And the second voice is the output we want to use as a phase modulation signal, okay? And then we want to feed it back into um, sine oscillator one. So we also need to actually bring um, the audio signal from voice stack two to voice stack one. And you can't do this, but what you can do is you can use a poly mono module here, this one. And this one says it flattens any signal making it the same for all voices, okay? So now we take here the output of voice stack two because we disabled everything else. We only hear basically uh, the sound or we get the values of this oscillator on voice stack two, only on voice stack two. But here we flatten this or summarize all the voices and we only have voice two enabled. So the sum of all of these signals is basically the output of voice stack two because only this one is enabled. So we flatten this here and we bring this to all voices. So now we have basically on all voice stacks the same value, which is the output of voice stack two. So now we can feed this back into the long delay and bring this back in here. So we do this basically also on all voice stacks. So now we need a stack modulator here, voice control, and we use this voice modulator one and modulate here only on voice stack one, okay? So this modulation is only on voice stack one. And because uh, we have here the flattened signal from voice stack two, we just face modulate only the first stack or the first voice and it sounds like this and i can prove to you that it's uh, voice two because we now modulate stack two or we change the settings for the sine oscillator for stack two and you can still hear um voice stack one Right, so if I just screenshot this here 
and bring this over to my browser. Pass this in here. So this is the patch we just built. And then we used voice stacking to actually duplicate this. We have this two times running, right? Uh, in the background or virtually, you can't see it actually. Um, on voice stack two, we have no output because we used voice toggle here and disabled all the voices except voice one. So we hear here only voice one. So the voice stack two has no audio output. So that's, that's the first thing, right? Um, then here on stack one, we have voice toggle here for two on. So this audio output is not going through here because on voice stack two or voice stack one, uh, everything is disabled except voice two. So we get the audio signal from here, flatten the signal here, which means we get now the signal from here also here and all the other voices, if you have more voice decks, but we only have two. So we get the signal from here also in here because we flattened this. And then we used um, the stack modulator to only increase the modulation on this one. Here there is no modulation. So just imagine this is here gone. So we only have modulation on here, right? And this one also outputs volume or outputs the audio signal. So we use this, this patch to actually feed the audio signal back to the first stack and modul face modulate here and then output the signal. So this, this is just what we did. And it's, that's a very nerdish and complicated way of just having two sine oscillators um, face modulating each other, right? You can just use a second one here and just do this normally. Uh, but here we just use one and then use voice stacking to duplicate everything and extract the audio signal from stack two, bring it back to stack one and then modulate on stack one, the sine oscillator to get this kind of feeling or the sound. So now comes the interesting part uh, because this polymono um, module here not only works for stacked voices, it only, also works for just normal polyphonic voices. So when we increase here the voices to, let's say, three, we can now play three notes at the same time. So listen to this, how this sounds. So we have basically now cross modulation between different keys. So in our graph here, it looks like this. We have voice stacking enabled for one note. And then we just take this and um, let's say uh, duplicate this or play multiple notes, something like this. So when we play two notes, each note plays basically two stacks and the second stack modulates the first stack. But this poly polymono module here flattens not only just these two stacks, it also flats these two stacks. So when we play multiple notes, it takes all of these values here or these audio signals and summarizes them and then feeds them back into the first stack of each note. And you can see it gets complicated quite fast. Actually, actually, just duplicate this here again. So this is basically three notes. Um, yeah, and then you cross modulate basically between three notes and summarize these stacks here together and then feed each of these or all of these summarize signals back into each of these voice tag ones. And then you get this cross modulation sound. So it sounds also different for each note you play because each note has a different frequency and different frequencies then are summarized together and it gives you this kind of cross modulation sound. And if you do, do this like in a small, with a small amount here, right? You can create, you know, more alive sounds or more More like sounds that sound like they belong together or come from a from a device that have. I mean, if you play a piano, it's not like each of these strings are 
resonating alone in an empty space. There's a lot of stuff around. You have cross resonance and, you know, if you play one key, then the other keys are also resonating. So it's this kind of concept. So this is my practical example for this, uh, for using voice stacks to actually extract values from different stacks and then bring it back to the first stack or to, I don't know, cross route between different stacks. You can also have here, for instance, uh, up to 16, up to 16 stacks, right? And then say, I want to extract something from stack two and want to bring it up to stack eight and cross modulate something there and then bring something from stack 16 and bring it down to stack one or something like this. So you can do it if you want to. Um, another thing I want to show you is that you can do this with values also pretty neatly. So we can say we have a step modulator here and we have 16 voice stacks and we want to use this vo step modulator here per voice and use um, stack spread modulator and we modulate here the face by let's say 100% uh, 9999 then switch to hold and then we can take here a value knob we can just modulate this here with a step modulator you can see it's just one because the readout here is on last voice mode if you put this to all voices we have 16 because it's now all voices combined we have 16 bars each bar has a value of one, so it gets you basically 16. So it's basically calculator summing up here all the values together in just one value. Um, but what you can do now is you can use a, a toggle again, voice toggle here and extract, let's say only voice 16. And then, um, say last voice and it gives you one because the last voice here is 16 but when i change basically this here to 15 and change 15 you can see it's still zero because it only gives you here the last voice and the last voice is always this one here uh, but it doesn't show you this value because the voice toggle is also muted here so you have to enable this so it's a bit you know trickery for this so what you need to do is actually you need to use all voices here so this is now all voices uh, but we use here the toggle and we only toggle on 16 so you only see here uh, 16 we use 15 you only see 15 because it's all voices combined or summarized so you have to keep this in mind because when you want to extract this here let's say with the modulator you need to also use polymono and put this to summarize or sum it's basically the same thing so this is here this is 15 yeah so now we can extract again here this value so now we can duplicate this again say this is uh voice 14 this is maybe 16 right and you can use sine oscillator you can modulate your different things on there, ADSR, out. And then now we have here 16 sign oscillators outputting volume. So we again use a voice toggle to mute all the other voices and just use uh, voice one. Um, with this one here, so decay. So only the last three here are modulating things, right? Let's use a second one here, just to do this and uh, modulate here voice 13 and modulate this. Um, don't want to modulate this. Again, this one is 12. This one is 11. Uh, maybe we do another one. This one modulates the, say the ratio here by a certain amount. Okay. 
Um, so with this, you can use the dice module and you get a different value, right? Um, on each of these 16 voice decks, but we only output basically one voice, the first voice deck here. Um, so you have to keep this in mind. Well, I think here we can choose multiple polyphonic voices. Should be fine. No, it takes then all voices. Oh, yeah, that's not working here with this. So that's the that's the problem. It's basically cross modulating because you use here this poly poly mono. I wish we had some better modules for voice um, management, uh, which note goes on which voice, and you know cross modulating stuff. Maybe we get a, a new module in some of the new updates. Would be nice to have this actually. Um, or to visualize certain voice decks better. I mean, I showed you here this this graph, right? You have to make this basically in your brain to keep track of everything in your brain. And it gets complicated pretty fast, as you can see here. But it's possible, okay? It's possible. So it's a nice way of extracting each of these values from each bar and then create a patch from that and you know randomize everything or just tweak your patch with with this kind of step modulator which is kind of nice to draw in right and you get different sounds um so this is just a simple two sine oscillator patch here but if you have you know more like an um, more complicated patch than it probably makes more sense. So I try to give you basically some examples, two examples, how you can utilize this kind of um, cross stack, voice stack uh, modulating uh, idea and how to implement it. I hope it makes sense. It's very hard to explain actually, because I can't show you how it actually looks like. In my brain, it makes sense, right? Um, and I try to explain it very well to you <laughs> if you have questions let me know in the comments down below um it's maybe not the most practical thing uh, but i'm sure some of you come up with some interesting results okay that's it for this video leave a like if you like the video uh leave me a subscription i know a lot of you are not subscribed to my channel for some reason um yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye